Hi, this is Shaman from Rocketship HQ. And in this video, I'm going to show you a cool little hack for creating multiple ad sets and multiple ad creatives in one go without necessarily going back and forth in the Snap interface. Now, here's why that's important. If you follow the workflow as it seems intuitive in the ad interface, in the Snap ad interface, uh, the obvious and intuitive workflow would seem to be that you add an ad set, you populate an ad set, you add the creatives to this particular ad set, you submit it, you come back, create a new ad set, add creatives to this, come back, add more, add another ad set, add creatives to this, and so on and so forth, right? Uh, as you can imagine, that sounds very inefficient. Uh, clearly, we can do better than that. And obviously, you, if you know how to do better than that, you please stop watching and yeah, do something else. Uh, presumably, if you're continuing to watch, you don't know about this hack that I'm going to show you. So please keep watching. Great. So here's how we do this. Click on, this is our Snap interface. We will create a new campaign. Right, so let's do advanced create conversions because we are running a direct response mobile user acquisition campaign right let's go hit next great okay let's call this ad set one we're doing a snap ad and the attachment as i've described in another youtube video ideally in most cases has to be app install if you have a deep link if you're running a re-engagement campaign go for deep link but almost in i mean in most cases i would say the object the attachment has to be app installed for more details check out my video how to set up mobile user acquisition campaigns on snapchat right for now we'll go on right so we set you know we have ad set one we're gonna pick let's say female we're gonna pick let's say ios let's pick let's say Predefined audiences. Let's call if we can find gamers. Yeah, casual and mobile gamers. Great. Okay. Uh, let's see. Goal is going to be app purchase. If you're running a, a direct response campaign, if you're running a user acquisition campaign, don't do swipe up. Uh, even though this is just illustrative, just make sure you make the right decisions here. Great. Okay. So we have set up ad set one right now here's what i mean right so in the usual workflow you would hit next the intuitive workflow you would hit next go to ads you'd create your ads and you'd add your ads and then basically hit submit then you would come back create new ad set create ads create then submit come back and create ad set three create ads submit and so on and so forth. That's, as I said, it sounds rather cumbersome. So here's what we want to do. Let's assume you want to create four ad sets. Obviously, this method you can use to create multiple ad sets, six, eight, 20, whatever number pleases your fancy. For now, for the sake of simplicity, let's assume we need four ad sets. One ad set is going to be male iOS. The next ad set is going to be male Android. The next ad set is going to be female Android. So we have four ad sets to be created, right? And here's the cool little hack that allows us to make these ad sets in one go very efficiently without coming back and going through this process all over again four times, right? So you see these dots. Oh, oh wait, now that we are going to unveil our hack, we ought to imagine drum rolls, trumpets, and so on and so forth. So if you're done imagining those, Here's what we do. Click on these three dots. Click on duplicate. Right? Well, we duplicated this. We need four ad sets. Let's just make this make three copies. So we have four ad sets. Excellent. So what you will notice is that all these are exact copies of ad set one, which is not something we clearly want, right? So this is copy of ad set one. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna change this to ad set two. Yeah, great. We're going to change this to add set three. 
you're going to change this to add set for excellent right again the contents of these are exactly identical at this point and we want to make these distinct and here's what we're going to do add set two we're going to make this mail and ios right add set three we're going to make this it's female ios and we're going to make this female android and at set four we're going to make male android right and this is the chief advantage because you don't have to populate the audience all over again you don't have to pick your location you don't have to pick all of these other variables all over again every time you need to create a new ad set uh, you just need to change the variables that you need to change Right. So if you need eight variables for different countries, you just need to copy, uh, duplicate this, just change the country. It's as simple as that. Uh, yes, and once you've done this, right, your ad sets are all populated. Great, good job. You hit next. Here's where you start populating your creatives. Right. So let's start populating creatives. Uh, name your ad, add one, uh, very imaginative. Let's call it test app, uh, test headline. Let's, yeah, we have to upload top snap media. Let's make this snap add three, right? We have this one, this is a test app. And let's call this, they call it one, one. Let's give this a name, number me number yeah this is a whatever right great and we need to upload an icon let's find an icon mm, on this mac i'm sure we have some icons of some sorts uh let's do this right okay so we have have this great so we have one ad running in four ad sets that's the power of this little hack right because you don't have to come back to each of these ad sets to add this particular ad to each of these. You don't have to do it four times. If you hit submit, you're going to have this one ad run in four different ad sets. Now, here's the other cool thing that you can do. Right now, you have one ad. Obviously, you're not going to run just one ad in an ad set. You want to run more. So, you do something very similar to what you did with the ad sets. Basically, you hit duplicate. You have copy of ad one. Let's assume you want to run three ads, right? You have a copy of ad one. Again, this disadvantage is because, let's say you have three different ads, three different ad creatives. You don't want to be changing the headline, the name of the ad, ad, the name of the app, the call to action, the app name, and so on and so forth. You don't, you don't have to, you probably don't need to change all of these every single time and if you just went with the normal flow and you just hit create new ad this is empty right you just have to type in all of this stuff all over again why would you want to do that instead you just duplicated these and let's populate just what we need to change add to we need to change the top snap media mm -hmm. Let's make this, this uh, add two. Let's make this add three. Excellent. Great. So we have three ads going, right? And this is the power of what we are doing. You have three different ads, you have four ad sets. So you will have 12 different ads going live you don't have to do 12 different submissions to take 12 ads live. And that's the power of what we're doing right here, right? And what you do next is hit next, assuming you need these 12 ads to go live. You basically hit next. I have invalid ads. I do not want to proceed, but I don't think there's anything major wrong. Yeah, so that, clear, that clears whatever was the problem. Great. So now we are we just have to re renew, review and publish. Basically, this these are the 12 ads that you're going to see. Ad set one, as you saw, female iOS mobile gamers, 
uh, to, to mail, iOS, mobile gamers, and so on and so forth. So you have 12 ads that are ready to go live. That's exciting, right? You don't have to do 12 submissions. You just have to do one. And all you have to do is hit publish campaign. And here's your moment of glory. Excellent. There you go. Awesome. Your ads are now publishing. And that's how you create ads, multiple ads in multiple ad sets very, very efficiently within the Snapchat interface. I hope this was helpful. If you want to check out more tips on mobile user acquisition and growth, check out our YouTube channel, Rocket Ship HQ, right here, or subscribe to our email list on rocketshiphq.com.